generative ai is changing the way people interact with their data traditionally people have used bi tools to interact with their data but those tools are limiting they are expensive need specialized talent to build reports and dashboard on top of those tools and it takes forever to generate insights from data so now you can use generative ai to talk to your data sets and get insights from data it reduces the time to insights and it truly democratizes access to data for example i want to ask what are the sales projection for this quarter i can just ask that question in natural language the system can now understand what i'm trying to ask get the data from the right database and give the results to me now i can further reply to it and further explore the data so let's say i want to reply to it and ask show me the total deal amount by business unit it will understand what i'm trying to ask aggregate the data the right way and get me the results now you can either download this data send this to you send this to yourself in an email or schedule it to arrive either in your inbox or using one of the other data delivery methods at a particular frequency you could also potentially visualize the data here itself let's say you wanted to plot it as a bar graph or a pie chart or a donut chart you could do that as well you can also further analyze this data by sending it to one of the popular bi tools like looker or tableau or power bi etc here for example i am sending this piece of data to looker and i can visualize it there or further analyze it there these are some of the things that you can do with structured data now keep in mind there are a few very important considerations you have to think about data governance all the solution is powered by very strong data governance in the back end so that there is security there is authentication there is authorization so there is role based access control people who sh who have access to specific pieces of information can only get access to that data so you can have either a row level security or a column level security or a dlp to mask specific columns based on access to people etc so this is an example of what you could do with structured data but you can also do stuff with unstructured data so let's say i'm doing some research and i want to know what is alphabet's revenue for the first quarter and how has the operating income changed year over year now this data is definitely not there in my database but i have access to in this demo uh, to the earnings report from the last quarter that alphabet had put out and the system can now go ahead and query that against my document database look through the unstructured data and get me the results so it's saying the first quarter revenue is this much uh, and also the operating income in 2023 is this which is lower than the operating income of 2022 uh, and it also provides me the results so let's look at the results so this is actually a quarterly earnings report from google uh, from alphabet and you can see that the revenue is exactly what uh, the system had mentioned and also the operating income has gone down from 20 million uh, 20 billion dollars to 17 billion dollars based on the uh, based on the report i could also ask a question that might not be in a pdf document but some other form factor like images audio video etc here for example i have given this demo access to a few podcasts so let's say if i ask this question uh, why did open ai go from being a non-profit company to a for-profit company it is now this data is not available in any earnings report but it is available in a video podcast so it says open AI went from being a non-profit to a for-profit company because they realized early on that they needed more capital and which they were not able to raise as a non-profit company and it is saying that it got this insight from the video of uh, Sam Altman interviewing with Lex Friedman. And you can see that uh, here, actually, Sam Altman is talking about uh, why uh, OpenAI went from being a nonprofit to a for profit company. Now, this truly democratizes access to data. You can ask questions from your structured data, be it relational or non relational databases, from your unstructured data, whether it be documents, text, images, videos, call recordings, anything like that. There is no need for a specialized talent or a specialized BI tool. Anybody can be a data analyst. And this makes analytics really intuitive and takes you from data to insights really fast.